Well, what's up, everyone? This is the Brutal Age 2.0 Partner Guide. This is easy. This is on cis violence. We're gonna do all three colors. And yes, cis violence actually has a higher attack than Blue Nomad. Once she gets up in the, the third awakening, and that's the basic attack. Her basic attack is all of them are higher than Blue Nomad's basic attack, which is actually pretty low. But that's not his really his strength. So this shows you how deceiving numbers can be. We're gonna start off with blue cis violence. We're gonna go through all of her different attacks. Her first attack is called the body strike. It's it's basically just a bash with a stick. And she'll get 30% of the damage she does back in hit points. So uh, interesting, she gets uh, gets hit points out of the damage she does. Her next attack is pretty much her big attack. It's the staggering blow. It gives her two rounds of plus speed. And it also does more damage with the more speed that she has. So this is how we're going to build Cis Violence Blue. We're going to build her around speed. Uh, you can see that at 6 star her um, attack goes up pretty high. But then at 6 star Third Awakening goes up to 456. And her Third Awakening she gets her third ability which is the assist. And it's a rally but not with one but with two partners. So she'll, ha she'll have three partners attacking at one time. So I've never seen that. That will be, be interesting to see. Um, now this is a snapshot of one of my accounts that I have cis violence building on and I've used cat in bull and I used bull because I had a five star speed on the left hand and and then it just ended up working out real well the bulls actually kept her alive a little better and then you want cat for the speed because she does more damage with a higher speed uh, I use hit point percentage on the on the head and right hand speed on the left hand and then I tried to get hit point percentage Somewhere in the second through fifth attributes on the uh, on all six pieces. So red cis violence. She also does a stick strike. <laughs> if you ever been hit by a stick from a woman, you know how bad it hurts. She also gets that thirty percent of the damage she does back in hit points. She does a double strike. The double strike is basically hitting him twice with a giant stick. It doesn't really specify how much damage she does, but it's a lot. And kind of like with uh, with blue as soon as she gets up into the six star range in the, in the third awakening six star her her attack skyrockets to 571 at third awakening that's that puts her in the top 10 percentile of all partners and then her special ability at the third awakening is called the sound of justice and this is basically like the uh, the battle cry where she gets an attack and critical rate increase which that also kind of gives us a hint towards what we need to do with her uh, instead of using the speed with her and the cat, we use Smile It On and Hippo. And we'll use speed in the left hand and then attack percentage on the helmet and on the right hand. And then again, try to get that hit point percentage on the second through fifth attributes on all six pieces. Because you still need to get her hit points up as high as possible. And if you guys don't know how to do this, what I do is I'll upgrade my war patterns to level 3 or level 6 before I actually load them onto the partner. And that way I'm guaranteeing that I'm getting exactly what I need. Moving on to green says violence. She also shares the same attack as the first two the stick strike where she gets 30% of her hit points back of the damage dealt of every attack and she has the double strike Twice it's basically two of the stick strikes with huge amounts of damage <laughs> And just ignore the comments At six star and six star third awakening her hit points go way up the third awakening get brings her up to 458 and her ability that she gains at the third awakening is called rage. This is something that she has all the time uh, And it, it's ra uh, rage is a higher attack when the when she gets lower hit points So as she, her hit points go down she gets stronger and stronger and there's no CD. There's no waiting on this She has it all the time And I'm gonna stop right there because I just noticed something I, I asked the lovely nerve damage who used to help me do the clash videos to help me do some editing and I noticed that she's added a few comments. Apparently, she didn't like some of the comments that I had made. It's, she wrote, um, "Underneath rage, higher attack with lower hit point uh, with lower hit points, and higher attack to anyone that makes completely inappropriate lesbian comments due to someone's hair, including the one talking." So thank you, Nerve, for helping make the video. Really appreciate that. I wonder what she's going to do at the end of this one. Hopefully, she didn't see it yet. So moving on the war pattern for green cis violence look, looks just like the red. It's basically the same thing It's four smile and two hippo 
Smile it on for the attack and hippo for, for a little boost in the hit points with speed on the left hand, attack percentage on the helmet and on the right hand, and try to get the second through fifth attribute, try to get hit point percentage in there. Also, you're also looking for uh, attack percentage, speed, uh, hit is also good. Try to use your best war patterns on her. She needs a little boost in the war patterns because she her hit points are lower than normal. And they gave her plenty of attack, but she's lacking in hit points. But what I've always tried to do is if they're lacking in one area, I don't really try to make up too much in that one area. I kind of push the part that she's doing really well in even further. So I know other people may try to tackle it different ways, but that's how I try to do it. So this is Cis Violence on one of my accounts. She is at 5 star level 31. Uh, this is with the cat war pattern. It's all 4 star and they're all from between level 3 and 6. So she has a long way to go before she's maxed out. But even even at this level here, she's doing around 1600 damage. Uh, on her critical rate damages, uh, she gets up even higher than that. So as you're building up your war patterns on her, now you can... All of them have similarities. Yes, uh, blue you have cat instead of smile it on. But as far as the second through fifth attributes, you want them all to have the hit point percentage, attack percentage, the critical rate, critical rate damage, and speed. All those are very important for cis violence. Uh, now she is a she is a powerful attacker, but you ha also have to keep her alive long enough. So now also consider the other partners that you're gonna have to have with her. I would definitely suggest bringing someone that has a shield or or a healer. Even though she does heal, it's it's just what I've seen so far. Maybe I haven't got her level up high enough for her to be an effective enough healer to stay alive by herself. We'll have to see. So I hope you enjoyed the video. These are kind of short. They're all going to be kind of short. I, I, I just want to keep it to basic war patterns, basic abilities, and cover them all in the next month or so. So hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.